Hi everyone, Gabriel here. And if you want to learn Blender and 3D, you have found a nice place to start. With this series, you will get from a beginner level to an intermediate level. And hopefully, you can create something like this. Or like this. Or even like this. The first video is going to be about the interface, navigation, selection and viewing in Blender. And in the following videos, we are going to see how to create this awesome SMG9. So let's go ahead and unload the software, which you can download in Blender.org, link in the description, select your operating system, download the software and install Blender. Now let's open up Blender. This is the first panel you see and it will show you your last open projects. But don't worry about it, you can get rid of it by pressing anywhere. Ok, so this is Blender. And don't worry if you find it too confusing, because that's normal. And you probably won't use most of this stuff at the beginning, because we are only going to focus mostly here, in a 3D viewport, where we can navigate and manipulate our objects. And sometimes here, the properties panel, which is probably the scary one since it has plenty of stuff. And sometimes, if you select another object, like the camera for example, this properties panel will also change. Crazy, eh? But don't worry, we are going to get there step by step. And if we don't, ask me anything in the comments and I will try to answer you as quick as possible. And to help you follow these tutorials, I have this square on the left bottom that shows you every mouse button and key that I press. And don't worry if you don't get all the short keys at the beginning, because in the next following tutorials I will always tell you what key I'm using, what shortcuts I'm using. So let's move on to navigation. And if you press mouse wheel down, you will be able to view around the object. And you can zoom in by scrolling the mouse wheel up and you can zoom out by scrolling the mouse wheel down, just like this. Now, if you press mouse wheel and hold shift, you can pan your view. And that's basically it for navigation. Now, for selection, if you press left click, you will notice that this cursor is moving around and that's the origin that we are moving around, which is where our objects will spawn. And you can reset that cursor with shift C and the cursor will move to the origin of Blender, which is 000. But if you want to select an object, it's the right click that you have to use, and it will select only one object. But if you want to select two or more objects, you can hold shift and select another one with right click, like this. Now, if you want to unselect everything, you can use the A key. And if you press again, it will select everything. But what if you want to select several objects at once, without clicking in each one? Well, to do that, you can use the B key, which creates this square for you to select what you want. You can also find your objects in this panel right here, which is called the Outliner, and it shows you every object that your scene contains. And if you want to focus on that object, you can press the Period key, or also known as the Dot key, in the numpad. Now, for the viewing, what if we want to work in a 2D view, or in other words, in the orthogonal view? Well, you can do that by pressing 5 on the numpad, which will change between orthogonal and perspective view. And by the way, in case you don't have a numpad, you can go to File, User Preference and Input, you can select Emulate Numpad, which will convert your numbers from 1 to 0 into a numpad. And then you can press save user preference to make sure each time you start Blender it loads with your user preferences. And now you can also switch between the front view with 1, the right view with 3 and the top view with 7. Which is really helpful to start modeling a character, a car or a building from a blueprint. Talking about modeling, would you like to learn more about that too so you can create your own object? So don't miss the next tutorial where we are going to see the transformation tools and shortcuts we need to create this cool SMG9. And guys, subscribe for more Blender and game development tutorials. And if you can, please support me my Patreon page to keep this channel alive. Go check it out, I left a link in the description and you can get access to plenty of cool stuff. And thanks for my patrons by the way, thank you very much for your pledges guys.
So thanks for watching guys and see you in the next tutorial.